Akwazashne is Mohawk for Land Where the Partridge Drums. It has a fascinating history going back more than two and a half centuries. Akwazashne's geography is key to understanding its early history. Four rivers from the northern Adirondack Mountains meet the St. Lawrence River at Akwazashne. Before the seaway came along and tamed the Long Sioux Rapids, the rough St. Lawrence became calm here broken up by many islands and slowed by the widening of the river into Lake St. Francis. Migratory animals use the placid waters, islands, and marshes as their regular crossing place. The abundance of game, fish, trees, medicine plants, and fertile soil made Akwazasne an ideal home or seasonal hunting ground. Archaeologists confirmed that this area had extensive human occupation going back thousands of years. The Iroquoians who inhabited this region lived in long bark houses and practiced horticulture. The colonial records of New France confirm extensive Haudenosaunee use and control of the upper St. Lawrence River in the early part of the 17th century. Eventually, mission villages were established near Montreal at La Pierre and on Mont Royal. Most of those living there were Mohawks. These villages relocated and came to be known as Ganawage and Ganisodage, respectively. Further upriver, at what is now Ogdensburg, New York, another mission village was established in 1749. This was known as Oswegachi by the Anadagas who settled there. The French named it La Galette and referred to its military fortification as Fort de la Presentation. The permanent settlement of Akwazasne began in 1754 with the arrival of about 30 families from Kahnawaga. They were accompanied by Jesuit priests who established the mission of Saint Jean Francois Regis the following summer. Events of the French and Indian War brought new people to Akwazasne. In 1759, Rogers Rangers attacked and destroyed the Abnaki mission of St. Francis, or Odenak. Survivors took refuge at Ganawage and Akwazasne. Most returned to Odenak when the mission was rebuilt, but some stayed behind. When this conflict came to an end, Akwazasne and other native communities in the St. Lawrence River Valley were taken back into the covenant chain of peace and friendship with Great Britain. They had previously been allies of the colony of New France. 25 to 30 Mohawks from the Mohawk Valley moved to Akwazasne in the years leading up to the American Revolution. These Mohawks maintained political ties to the Six Nations Confederacy. By 1806, the community of Oswegachi was forced to relocate by an influx of American settlers. Some went back to Onondaga, while others merged with Akwazasne. Oh, 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 oh. 